shared on my Instagram poetry tea time that we did on our first day of school. And people had a lot of questions, so I thought I would make a very simple video of how we do a basic poetry tea time in our homeschool. Now the basic idea behind Poetry Tea Time is just to spend some time together as a family reading poetry and drinking tea. Now you might look at this and think, oh my goodness, my kids would never do this. They would never sit still. They would never be able to use china and glass dishes and eat fancy snacks. But let me tell you something. My kids have a lot of energy. They, they are active, active boys. But when I pull out the china and when I make the table look fancier than normal, they somehow magically behave better. They are careful when they pour the tea, they're gentle when they move the china, and they generally sit quietly and listen as we read poetry out loud. I believe that you teach responsibility by giving your children responsibility. So yes, if you have very young children, feel free to use paper dishes or even plastic teacups and things like that. But even my youngest at a very young age was able to use our china because we demonstrated to him that if he was very careful, that it wouldn't break. And he learned the responsibility of how to handle things that are usually reserved for grown-ups. So even if you decide to forego the china, that's completely fine. Honestly, you don't even have to drink tea. If you look closely, my little boy is drinking hot chocolate. So you can make it whatever you want it to be. All you have to do is grab a pile of books. These can be poetry books like the ones I've shown here, but they don't have to be. A lot of times we'll just read a chapter book or the kids will pick a book that they want to read aloud and we just make it a fun time that we can spend together. Now, personally, I like to read a variety of poetry. This day I started out with some silly poems and I moved on to some more serious ones. Something big has been here. What it is, I do not know. For I did not see it coming and I did not see it go. I also like to allow my children to each pick a poem that they would like to read aloud to the group. By allowing the children to choose their own poem to read, it gives them responsibility for poetry tea time. They help me set the table, they choose their snacks and their tea, and then they also choose the poems that they would like to read. And always make sure that after you've read a poem, you discuss it together. That way the kids can tell you what they think of it. My shadow. I have a little shadow that goes in and out with me. And what can be the use of him is more than I can see. He is very, very like me from the heels up to the head, and I see him jump before me when I jump into bed. I rose and found a shining dew on every buttercup, but my lazy little shadow, like an errant sleeping head, had stayed at home behind me and was fast asleep in bed. Why was this shadow fast asleep in bed? What does that mean? It's gone. He said one morning very early before the sun was up. Oh. I wasn't his shadow there. Light. There was no light to make a shadow, right? If the sun's not shining, can't have a shadow. I mean, it would magically shadow. Now, poetry tea time does not need to be fancy. We enjoy pulling out some fancy things, but you don't have to do that. Make it simple. Drink the things you like, eat the things you enjoy, and read books that your kids love. Poetry Tea Time has become my children's favorite part of homeschooling and it's just kind of a part of our regular family life now. So I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope that you're able to use Poetry Tea Time in your homeschool as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and have a great day.